Okay, Keith here from uh, Beat the Casino. Hey, we just got back from uh, one of our crawls with our professional players and, and new players in Las Vegas. As you know, we, we play quite a bit together. So here was a shoe that we played at the Palms uh, in Las Vegas just the other night. And, you know, I kind of wanted to explain how system sellers look at these games and how they give you ways to play and what's the difference between our club and our professional players and how we would interpret what we're seeing uh, in real time. So if you buy a system, it's, it's just that. They're giving you a formula to go bet and to go play a Baccarat game before you even look at anything that's happened in the game. Even if they qualify it and say, well, do this first and do that and look for this, that's still not real time how you analyze a game. Now, in this circumstance here, if the system was, geez, after every one in a row, bet it'll go to two or bet second liners for the first 20 hands of the game and then switched from two in a rows going to three in a rows, you, you'd have done pretty good. And it can be as arbitrary as that because they're not taking into consideration the real-time effects or the real-time situation in the game. So it's just an arbitrary formula to plug in. That's, that's all you're really getting. Um, it, it's as arbitrary as, as anything. Sometimes if you're lucky, as I just said, if it would be bet two in a rows, uh, the first part of the shoe, you, you'd win, you know, and some people would win with that. Of course, what happens then as many people who call me, well, I bought it and I did okay at first, or I lost at first and then I won. But in the end, I lost all my money and I lost the money I I paid for the system. So, so that's, that's the downside to system sellers. But what I want to talk about now is how we look at the game and what statistics you need to look at in real time and keep making assessments and judgments about the game during the game. You make your strategy in the game. You don't take a strategy and go try to overlay it over the game. That, that's foolish. You're doing it exactly backwards. You need to develop your strategy and have the wisdom and insight into the game to figure out what to bet and how to bet it when you're in the game. Okay, so when you look at this game, and on the left-hand side is one of the scorecards from one of our professionals, writing and justifying each bet and m making a dynamic strategy as he sees the game change. And you can see the score, which is indicated uh, by the uh, third column of how many chips he's won. And by the, by the way, one chip, one, one unit was double black, which is 200. So you do the math here. But um, you can see he has uh, a bet on, uh, on Banker there. And what does it mean? Well, 2MC means 2. It's the most common event. And then you take a look at the next bet. He bet one, one unit on banker again. Well, second liner he took into consideration and the disparity with banker. And as we go on down, you can look at, at the next one where he bet another one bet on 2. Well, it's the most common uh, banker justification, okay? Um, so, again... All these things come into play when we're looking at it. Now, what statistics, you know, are most important is, are what is behind the forum and what we talk about all the time and how we've justified the rest of these bets. Those are just two common examples, most common and, and disparity that we look at all the time. But this creates a dynamic strategy that en encapsulates our strategic Baccarat and follow the shoe uh, approach that we use. You're not going to learn uh, a, a specific strategy to walk into the casino. You're going to learn every strategy there is by understanding what statistic is most important in the game. And based upon your analysis of the game and practicing with other players and practicing with the strategic Baccarat interface, how to approach a game, what to bet in the game as it is occurring. And that is how you beat a Baccarat game. You cannot do it by taking one system, walking into the casino and overlaying that system over all the games in the casino. Everyone has been trying that for thousands of years, not thousands of players, millions of players have tried that. And if anyone tells you differently, they're not probably not telling you the truth. Okay. So 
Come on, join our professional forum and learn how a professional Baccarat player analyzes a game, and you can do it too. So this is Keith from Beat the Casino. We hope you become a member and see it, see you guys at the next Baccarat crawl that we have in Las Vegas or everywhere else in the world. Thanks for listening.